continuing our strive for more in 24 series with a week devoted to fitness. And what better way to kick it off with exercise for those who are just getting started on their fitness journey. Here to give us a workout is Peloton instructor Jess Sims. Hey. Yes. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for having me back. Fitness queen. Oh, stop it. We go stop way back. I know. We really do. Yeah, we do. So it's good to see you. And y'all are really fit because the fact that you just changed that quickly and came back in 90 seconds. Let was... me tell you, that was a workout back yeah. right there. Yeah. That so was actually a workout. You're warmed up now. <laughs> I know. Are you, are you ready for this one? Yeah, yes. we're ready. Okay, we're great. Ready. So this is beginner friendly okay. and it's all upper body. So I have two Perfect. groups of movements for you. The first is going to be for pull, which is the back of the body. All right, okay. you ready? Mm -hmm. So we're going to grab our lighter dumbbells. Let's grab the fives. Okay. So this, the first movement we have is called a reverse fly. So your feet are going to be right underneath your hips, soft bend in the knees, push your butt back, hey. You're gonna look towards the front of the mat. You're just gonna exhale as you bring the dumbbells up, squeeze the shoulder blades back and down, and control them back down, good. So your palms are facing, yeah. <laughs> spacing. Yeah, yes. I'm used to that, spacing. Though, right? Yeah. right. Mm -hmm. There you go. And so just do five more reps here. Nice and controlled, again, getting that back body. Good, the last one, Put that down here. Grab your heavier bells for me. We're gonna come down into a quadruped position. That's hands and knees. So still working the upper back. You're just gonna roll one elbow up towards the ceiling, control it back down. Good, and you're just looking right in front of the dumbbells, keeping a nice neutral neck. Good, wow, look at you. Wow, y'all are good. Thanks, I Jess. see this. Okay, the next one here, we have lat pullover. So lose one of the dumbbells, and you're okay. gonna come back on your back. You're gonna put your feet on the floor. Lay down here. You're gonna hold the dumbbell right above your chest. Oh, you know where we're My going. My microphone this. is always in the wrong spot. Oh, I'll just put it over I, here. Trust me, I get it. Okay. So you're just gonna slowly bring the dumbbell above the head and tap the floor behind you. So keeping the shoulders down away from the ears. And should and you keep your head on the ground? Yes, keep the okay. head on the ground. You can advance this by doing this on a bench so that you actually have more space above your head. And this is, keep going. You're gonna do a few more reps here. This is a great precursor to the dreaded pull-up, but I know it's a new year, lots of goals, trying to get that pull-up. This feels great. Doesn't it? Yeah. I hate pull-ups yeah. so much. I'm so glad you said that because I do too, but one thing that you can work on is a dead arm hang. So if you have access to a bar, you hold onto that bar, you know what I'm talking about, yep. Mark? So you hold onto that bar, you work that grip strength, you work your forearm strength, and you literally just hang, and that's something great to get into before you get into the pull-ups. It also is really great for the flexibility of the lats and traction for your spine. So there's spaces in between the vertebrae. Okay, what are these bands for? Do we, is that oh, next? That's next. Okay. Last but not least, this is my favorite one. If you're sitting at your desk, if you've been traveling a lot, which I have been doing a lot lately, you're holding this out in front of you. You can have different grips, but this one's totally fine, having your palms down. You're just pulling the band apart to that T. Ooh. Yes. And then controlling it back <laughs> in. You can make it easier by, of course, yeah. bringing your uh, arm out. So that's great. Any resistance band will do. These are great. But this is really, really great for posture. This one's tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go, wide, go wider. Go wider? Yeah, uh, go start, wider. Start wider. Okay. Yeah. And then inhale as you bring it in. All Exhale right. out on the tough part. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Squeeze and control it in. I All feel right. like I'm getting a workout. You really are. You are. I am. All right, for more on workouts for starting your fitness journey when we return. Back. Okay. <laughs> Jess Sims, who is so hot right now. You're so hot. I love you, Kelly. All right. I love you. I love what you. What other moves do you have for okay, us to so make us hot? The, the back body we work. Now we're going to okay. work the front body. So go ahead and pick up those dumbbells again. This okay. one is... This one's tough. This one's called a French door. You're gonna kiss your dumbbells together and then keep your elbows close together. Soft bend in the knees, tuck your tailbone under. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze like you're trying to push together. And then you're gonna open up, yes, into a goal post. Come back into that starting position, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And this is really awesome because as a beginner, sometimes going overhead, if you have any shoulder issues, this is what gets the shoulders but doesn't Oh, doesn't really mess up too much if you go overhead. Yeah. This is like the, the one they used to tell you would increase your bust size, but it, spoiler alert, it doesn't work. Ooh, that, that could be a little added bonus. Good, now drop one right here. Now we have halos. You're gonna start horizontal right underneath your chin. You're gonna initiate the movement with the right arm. Bring that right arm behind your head completely, and then the left arm travels with it. This is a horrible hairstyle to have on your head, <laughs> by the way. Okay. Then do the other way. Left arm, and this is so great for not only shoulder strength, but flexibility and mobility. Mm. That feels yes. good. I feel, it does I feel really good. I just heard like good. five things pop and crack. I know, I just heard you pop and crack over there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so good. And then the next one here, go ahead and grab the other dumbbell as well. 
These are L raises. So you're just gonna make an L. So the left arm's gonna come out in front of you, the right arm goes to the side, and control it back down, and switch. So again, working the shoulders, but See not going overhead. See how hard overhead. that was for us to figure out <laughs> yes. the L? I was like, L? It's kind of like rubbing your belly and scratching your... <laughs> Like, I've never done this one. This is good. It's, yeah, this is great. Front raise, lateral raise at the same time. Yep. And yes, you came up with an exercise Mark has not done. You should great. be given this, an award today. This is the ultimate honor. Yeah. yeah okay. The yeah, so last one here. One we all know, another one that we all dread, the push-up. But I want everyone to make friends with the push-up in 2024. So okay. you're going to corkscrew your hands into the floor. You're going to come down to your knees. Your inner elbow should be facing forward. Now you're going to lower your chest, trying to get that full range of motion all the way to the floor, keeping your elbows close to the rib cage, and press up. Good. Now. One thing that really, really helps if you are a super beginner is to elevate. So you can get a chair, just make sure it's sturdy, a counter, and you do the exact same thing, and it's even easier than the knees. So just start wherever you are. Do not be afraid of where you are, because we're all beginners at something somewhere. This is so great, Jess. Three, like... three sets, eight to 12 reps. And that's it? Yeah. And the and hardest thing fit? is just... just... <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna have to repeat that a few times, but yeah. if you're doing an upper body workout, you could put all these movements that I just put in together mm -hmm. and kind of flip flop, do front uh, body, back body. Or if you're doing a full body workout, you can choose two of the pull, two of the push, and add some uh, lower and body. And just get started. And if you don't just have, do it. even if you don't have weights yeah. at home, you have stuff that can act like weights at home. Water bottles, cans. Yeah, water bottles, yeah. cans, you can use a towel. 100%. Um, well, for all these workouts and more, don't forget to visit our website. Thank you, Jess. It's so great to see you. Coming up next, we're going to open up that inbox. Stick around.